want to talk to you about an invisible ceiling that puts a cap on your prayers or the answers to your prayers. And it's called the invisible ceiling of unbelief, okay? You know, there's certain things that you pray for and you might listen to you just an example. You might be praying for a revival or you might be praying for a house or a certain vehicle or a certain healing for somebody. And for some reason, it seems like what you prayed for did not get answered or it was answered in a lesser way. For instance, you're praying for, you know, a 4,000 square foot house and you got a little rinky, rinky dink house on, you know, some, you know, some, you know, broken down corner somewhere. Well, there's an un, un uh, invisible ceiling of disappointments and things that happen in your life that prevent you from believing God the right way, all right? You know, hurts, past unforgiveness, things that are rooted deep down in your flesh and in your mind, okay, that prevent you from believing God for what you really want. An example of this for me, okay, I was praying for a house and I've still not attained the house that I'm believing for right now. But, uh, but I was praying for a house and I fasted and prayed for three days. But I was trying to go longer than that. Now, there was a guy I know who's in real estate where, I, where I'm at, and I know him. On the third day, I ran into this guy, okay? And I was asking, I didn't say nothing to him, but he walked right by me, he didn't know I was there, okay? And I was thinking, well, why did I run into this guy, and he deals with houses, and I'm praying for a house? So I kind of left it alone, I went home. But then, I ended up punking out and ending my fast, and then I realized why I ran into the guy, okay? The unbelief, the resistance in my flesh kept me from pursuing what I really desired in God. And therefore, God brought the answer before I was even finished with the fast. Because that was the level of where I really secretly believed in my heart. Okay? If I really believed more, then I would have fasted longer. Okay? Or, let me rephrase that. I did believe, but the unbelief was greater than my belief. Okay? So, there's always some kind of secret, secret little silly in there that you don't know that praying in the spirit and fasting long enough will deal with that unbelief and then you'll start to get what you desire, okay? So don't be discouraged, okay? And this little episode happened twice with me, okay? The same thing, I prayed for it on the third day. I thought I was gonna keep going and this guy comes along, I run into him again, okay? So God was bringing the answer to my prayer, okay? But I didn't see it as the answer because I wanted something better than that, what, I was, what he could offer. But my flesh was fighting me, so I could, it, it prevented me from receiving what I want. I let it prevent me, okay? I should have took authority over it and kept fasting and praying. Okay, so don't get discouraged and thinking God's not answering a specific request. He can, but sometimes he has to answer that on the level that you really believe, okay? Okay, you might, you know, you might tell somebody that God can do this and get you this grand building, but really you might believe, well, the only way you're going to get is if you go to college, you work eight years, you work, you get a lawyer's degree, and that's what you might really believe because that's my, that might be what you were really taught your whole life, okay? So you got to learn to speak the word and, and retrain your mind as well as fast, okay? That, the fasting will, get, will help your mind to submit to the word, okay? So don't give up. If you're seeking revival, fast and pray. God will give you revival. If you're praying for healing and you don't see it happening, fast and pray. Okay? If you're believing for a house or a certain vehicle you need for whatever, fast and pray. Okay? So God bless you. And just stay alert. This is the end times. I just want to tell everybody God is coming soon. Okay? And he loves you. Be blessed. Have a great evening. Have a great life. If I don't see you here, I'll see you in eternity. God bless.